Daniel Hikikichu, a very confident Muslim preacher, made statements and argumentations that come to the conclusion that Islam is false. A few days ago, I finally caught him live. I presented a question that I think is very problematic for Islam. Who Yahweh is, and whether Islam got the name of the God wrong that it adopted from Abrahamic religion. Daniel Hikikichu had no idea what is going on. He was not familiar with his argument, which is okay. You don't have to know everything. He spent his time researching while we were talking, but he tried to argue very firmly about this during the stream. Actual Jews, they have used the word Yahweh to refer to God, but they also continue to use the word El. The problem is that at the end of this debate, when he didn't see any way out of this argumentation, he came up with a final resort that is extremely problematic for all his beliefs. He proposed the idea that Yahweh is a polytheistic pagan name which the Israelites adopted from a pre-Abrahamic polytheistic theistic Canaanite religion and thereby corrupted their own religion and their scripture. He now seems to have trouble remembering what exactly he argued, but when you go back and review the footage, it's very clear what he says. It's perfectly consistent with Islamic beliefs that a polytheistic name Yahweh has been adopted in the from the Canaanite polytheistic religion when? has been adopted into the Hebrew Bible in uh, Genesis, for example, not have this name Yahweh, but in our religion and this polytheistic religion that we're adopting, there is the name Yahweh. How do we reconcile these things? How about we just write a verse in Exodus that from now, from the time of Moses, we will, we will be referred to as Yahweh. You're shooting yourself no. in your own foot right now. These ancient Canaanites and ancient Hebrews, ancient Israelites had the word El or Elohim and they associated with other names and other gods. So the Israelites corrupted their own religion, they corrupted their own scripture, they adopted a false name for their polytheistic god named uh, Yahweh. This religion that we have comes with a corrupt guy called Yahweh, came after this supposed corruption where they falsely adopted this name Yahweh. And his idea is that later prophets were actually in a fight against this corruption. They kept corrupting their texts. They would take a teaching from a prophet and they would distort it. And so there, another prophet has to come to correct it. So that's perfectly in line with the Islamic conception of Thank you. prophethood. He has thereby unknowingly declared Islam false. Yes, if you are a Muslim and you argue that Yahweh is a polytheistic name, then you are, without knowing it, denying Islam and declaring that Islam is false. And here is why. You need to protect yourself, and Atlas VPN can do that for you. Atlas VPN was developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019 and is currently used by more than 6 million people in the world. With Atlas VPN, you can safely surf the internet without having your data tracked and shared with governments, with malicious people, and others who shouldn't be all up in your business. Right now, Atlas VPN offers a huge discount of $1.99 per month and a three-year subscription with with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Grab that right now in the description. Who doesn't want to be protected while accessing emails in public? Who doesn't want to access whatever content they want, no matter where they are? Who doesn't want to be informed about the best prices when shopping online for subscriptions or hotels or other things? Atlas VPN helps you with that while surfing the internet with high speeds. So check out the description right now and grab this huge discount of $1.99 per month for a three-year subscription subscription with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect yourself, protect your privacy. At least, that's what I do. Reason number one. I mentioned that the Quran contains prophets whose names praise Yahweh, such as Elijah, John, Zechariah, and Jesus. All four of these people are recognized within the Quran and they are praised. The Quranic Arabic name Elias for Elijah was adopted through Greek, Elias, from Hebrew, Eliyahu. Elias or Eliyahu means my God is Yahweh. Why is that Yahweh? That doesn't sound like Yahweh. The ending of his name, Yahu or Yah, is a short form of Yahweh that is used throughout the Bible in theophoric names and in Hebrew texts in general. It is also used in certain famous words like Hallelujah. So Allah in the Quran recognizes Elijah and praises him and his name is clearly Eliyahu. My God is Yahweh. 
If we go by Daniel's theory that Yahweh is a polytheistic name or a polytheistic God, a polytheistic name Yahweh, then we are to accept that Allah simply adopts a name that praises a polytheistic God from the Greek version, by the way, without even doing anything about this or clarifying this. You're shooting yourself no. on your own foot right now. No, no. And here is reason two. This one is much stronger. The name Yahya, which stands for John, is in Hebrew Yohanan. Yohanan means Yah is gracious. The issue here is that the Quran does not just adopt this name or this prophet. No, the Quran explicitly says that John, Yahya, was promised to his father, Zechariah. And the name Yahya was not decided by some random people. No, it was determined by Allah himself. Allah gave Yahya his name, Yahya. And the name Yahya means Yah is merciful. So if we go by Daniel's theory that Yahweh is a fake pagan god or a polytheistic name, a polytheistic name Yahweh, <laughs> then we are led to believe that Allah says in the Quran that he gave an important prophet, Yahya, a name which praises a polytheistic god. Good job, Daniel. Wonderful job. This means that the Quran is either ignorant and therefore false, or this means that the Quran also praises a false god, which is why it is also false. Therefore, if you argue that Yahweh is a polytheistic name, then you have declared Islam wrong with no way out. And just to make it foolproof, let me add reason three. Oh, before that, let's let's also talk about Zechariah for a second. Zechariah is the father of Yahya, of John, and his name also contains Yahweh. It literally means remember Yahweh, which is very ironic because Muslims and the Quran do not remember Yahweh at all. But finally, let's come to number three. Of course, it is inevitable we have to talk about Jesus. Jesus is known in Islam as Isa, adopted again in strange ways, and it goes back to the name of Jesus in Hebrew, which is Yeshua, which is a short form for Yahushua. According to Quran chapter 3 verse 45, the name of Jesus was also given by Allah. It says, when the angel said, angels speak for Allah, O Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him whose name will be the Messiah, Isa, Jesus, Yeshua, the son of Mary, distinguished in this world and in the hereafter and among those brought near to Allah. So according to the Quran, Allah chose this very important figure, the Messiah, who is praised to no end and so ignorantly adopted from Christianity and gave him a name which in Hebrew in its original form literally means Yah saves or Yah is salvation. Imagine this is what Allah did. Assuming that Yahweh is a, a polytheistic name Yahweh, we would be arguing that Allah chose for such an important figure, Jesus, a name which praises a corrupt polytheistic pagan name. Well, why didn't these texts, Genesis, for example, that has Abraham, Ismail, and Isaac not have this name Yahweh, but in our religion, in this polytheistic religion that we're adopting, there is the name Yahweh. How do we reconcile these things? How about we just write a verse in Exodus that from now, from the time of Moses, we will, we will be for, referred to as Yahweh. The Bible does not only begin to use this name Yahweh from Exodus on, it uses it in the first book in Genesis over a hundred times and throughout the Bible 6,800 times and more. So while El or Eloh or Elohim is what God is because there is only one God, the personal name of this God, of this Eloh is Yahweh. And this is made so clear in the Bible over and over again. His name forever, not just something that you should know him by. A name that is explained or described as I am or I am that I am. And it does not exist in Islam. Daniel, maybe next time just admit that you don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. But hey, one more thing. If you want to clarify here and say, okay, no, okay, okay, I didn't mean that. No, I would never say that. Yahweh was not adopted from polytheism. Yahweh might be a legitimate name that, you know, God used in the Bible for the Israelites, for those people. This might not be as 
big of a problem as the first problem, which Daniel Hikikichu made, but it is still a major problem. If you accept that God did indeed reveal himself in the Bible as Yahweh to people, but this was just for that time, just for those people, then that is still a major problem because you are still left with the fact that according to the Quran, Allah himself chose to deliver the name Yahweh in an honorable way and give it to important figures like Jesus or John or Zechariah or Elijah. And yet, as Muslims, you are completely unaware of this name. Elijah, the name Eliyahu, is given specifically because Elijah was, according to the Bible, a prophet who fought against corruption, against belief in other gods, like Baal. Elijah was a brave prophet who firmly declared, those are false gods. We have one god, that is Yahweh. This is our god, the real god. That's why he is honored with the name, my god is Yahweh. Because he did not fall for idolatry, he held on to the true god. And yet all of that is completely lost in Islam. It is Islam that is lost. I will happily debate this because as far as I can see, there is no way out of this for Islam. Thanks for watching. I will be back. Have a fantastic day and stay away from Islam.